How is GM's Altium electric car battery compared to Tesla's battery? Several days ago, GM announced it has a new battery called Altium that surpasses Tesla battery technology. Producing a lighter pack that holds more energy and yields longer range than Tesla at 400 miles. GM plans to capitalize on this technology by licensing it, this battery technology to other electric vehicle makers and use it to power larger GM vehicles that otherwise would probably have poor gas mileage as a gas variant. So GM's Altium battery will supplant big battery electric vehicles like Escalade, Hummer, larger electric Cadillacs GM plans to make and of course GM's first soon coming all electric autonomous car called Origin. But the new battery technology from GM could be a nightmare for Tesla. Even worse, GM plans to license it to other automakers, putting Tesla at a major disadvantage. Hello everyone, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Before we continue, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel and like this video and let's get started. The long-range version of Tesla's best-selling Model 3 boasts 322 miles on a full charge. The mass-market car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. Though a performance version can do the same, the 0 to 60 distance in um, 3 to 3.2 seconds. If that's impressive, GM wants you to know that you haven't seen anything yet. Earlier this month, the Detroit automaker revealed its new Altium batteries. The new battery batteries will have a range of up to 400 miles or more and boasts an acceleration speed of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds. GM's Altium batteries are said to be better and cheaper than Tesla's batteries. Here is why. In addition to the increased range, GM is also promising to make its batteries, uh, battery technology cheaper than Tesla's. GM has committed to continuously embark on lowering the cost of the batteries to below 100 kilowatt hour, says the press release. Achieving the target would make GM's battery technology over 50% cheaper than Tesla's battery technology. According to Kyron Energy Research Advisors, Tesla's battery costs per kilowatt hour is currently about $158.27. That by itself is a signal to Tesla that there is a serious competition on the road ahead. GM has indicated that the new battery technology will be used across multiple product categories from its cheapest vehicles to its luxury brands as well as its trucks. Some publications are saying that Elon Musk should lose his sleep over this, but I'm not sure about that. What do you think? Let us know in the comments as we continue this. However, GM's biggest threat to Tesla is its plan to license that Altium battery technology to license the superior battery technology to other car makers. In the press release, GM noted, by vertically integrating the manufacturer, the manufacturer of battery cells, the company can reach beyond its own fleet and license technology to others. This means that technology lead that Tesla has enjoyed over the years is now over. It means Tesla will have more competitors than it has had ever had to contend with in virtually every auto categories. In 2019, Tesla sold 367,500 cars. Globally, the total number of new cars sold was estimated to be about 77.5 million in 2019. Tesla's sales amount to about 0.5% of global car sales. The EV maker is a tiny player, 
So if GM's battery innovation reaches critical mass, this key, when it reaches critical mass, Tesla will have huge competition on its hands. The electric vehicle maker already faces stiff competition even with the inferior battery models of its rivals. The new battery cells will hold enough energy to potentially the new battery cells of GM will hold enough energy to potentially power a car for 400 miles or more on a single charge, the company said um, last Wednesday. That's slightly more than uh, more driving range than any Tesla car offers. Tesla claims a range of 390 miles for the latest version of its Model S long range sedan. But see, GM's is 400 miles. GM's new battery cells will be used in several of its new fully electric models, as I mentioned above, including a recently unveiled self-driving electric car, the Cruise Origin, and a future Cadillac luxury SUV. GM also hopes to license, like I said, its battery technology to other companies. GM's new electric batteries will be cheaper and flexible. The new battery cells, which GM named Altium, are soft flat pouches. Here's how it works. Electric vehicle batteries can have different forms. Tesla battery cells, for instance, are hard cylinders. Let me explain this. Usually, these sorts of pouch cells have to be lined up in horizontal rows with the pouches starting standing on edge like books in a bookshelf. The Altium cells can be used that way or they can be stacked up vertically with the pouches laying on their sides. This gives car designers more flexibility because it allows the battery pack, which is made up of lots of these cells, to have a greater variety of shapes. The Altium battery, GM's Altium battery cells, uses a minimal amount of cobalt, an expensive ingredient for electric vehicle batteries. And that factor, combined with the continuing manufacturing improvements, will drive prices down. The company said, GM promised the new battery cells will quickly come down in price to below $100 per kilowatt hour. Remember, Tesla's is about $158 Per kilowatt hours. This is a significant difference. Batteries make up a very large part of an electric vehicle's cost and $100 per kilowatt hour is often cited by industry analysts as the threshold that will enable electric cars to become truly cost competitive with traditional gasoline powered vehicles. While GM did not specifically name any competitors in its in presentation, the comparisons to Tesla are clear. Tesla is the leading electric vehicle maker in the world. It built an enormous new battery factory in Nevada, a new car factory in China, these are called Gigafactories, and is building another new factory in Germany named Giga Berlin. Tesla also currently builds its cars, its cars at its factory in Fremont, California, where GM and Toyota cars were once made. For its part, Tesla is planning a battery and powertrain investor day for sometime next month, at which the company could actually announce significant advancement of its own. So we have to keep an eye on that and look for the Tesla battery day. Less than 250,000 electric vehicles were sold in the United States last year, and 90% of those were Tesla vehicles, according to data from Cox Automotive. GM cited third-party forecasters as saying electric vehicle sales in the United States could rise to about 3 million units by 2030. GM's own analysis predicts the figure could be materially higher as more electric vehicles are launched in popular markets and public charging networks grow, 
The company said, in addition, GM engineers are already working on next generation battery cells that can enable driving range of up to 600 miles. GM engineer Andy Ori said in a recorded presentation, 600 miles per charge. GM also previewed a number of new fully electric car models the company plans to produce over the next few years. The Cruise Origin, a completely driverless vehicle, was already unveiled in San Francisco last month. GM's Cruise Autonomous Driving subsidiary hopes to use it in a driverless ride, ha ride hailing service in San Francisco. No date has been yet set for the GM Origin. But a new version of the GM Bolt electric vehicle will be launched later this year, the company said, followed by a crossover SUV version called Bolt EUV in the summer of 2021. So Bolt crossover called Bolt EUV is coming in the summer of 2021. The Cadillac Lyric, a luxury electric crossover, will be unveiled next month, that said GM. After that, the GMC Hummer electric vehicle, electric truck, will be unveiled on May 20th, GM said. So these are very serious moves by GM. 400 miles per charge, and then they're already working on a battery that can do 600 miles per charge. Uh, we should expect some serious uh, news coming from Tesla on a battery day, which is coming, I believe, next month. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. I, I assume that maybe Volkswagen and other major car makers should be thinking about this, or maybe their hope is that they will license it for, uh, from GM. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments, please. And please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and uh, enable the bell notification. And please like this video to show your appreciation for all the people who were involved in making this presentation. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Look forward to my next Testa Gigafactory report tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day.